Hi, sunshines! Another day, another vlog! Oh my gosh, it's been so long! It has been. It has been. So we decided to vlog today just mm -hmm. to kind of chat with you guys, fill you in, yes, and take you... Putting some content on the channel again. Yes, shopping with us. We're actually mm -hmm. going product shopping today and we are looking to spend some money. Like We not, are. Not window shopping. I know, because we've been kind of like on a hiatus mm -hmm. and we haven't wanted to spend money on products because of all the decluttering we did and we just kind of know that products we use we know the ones that we like now but products that we buy just end up kind of like in the decluttering um box eventually but you know i mean we do have a natural hair channel and we have to do tutorials and things right. so we have a new mindset to yes. do that march is going to be like totally different than february <laughs> <laughs> no like we're serious though mm -hmm. like we want to get back to um to posting like you know our weekly videos right. our lives um there's going to be some other little surprise things here and there which like will be rolling out in march but you guys mm -hmm. will see all of that That's as it fun. comes yeah girl okay. click it or ticket <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's like girl it's time to go to connecticut does anybody else's state have that click it click it or ticket but um but yeah so I'm on like a day seven wash and go. Like, have your has your hair ever been so tired and it's like begging you to wash it, but you just don't like? So I'm waiting till tomorrow. Cause Sunday's typically my wash day, so today is Saturday, and um, I'm trying to. I'm just not bothered today. I was like, yeah, it's not getting washed. So this yeah. is it. <laughs> I can't be bothered. This is a day two, I think, curl mix, and it looked like it couldn't be salvaged. But I just kind of like dunked my whole head in the bathtub salvage it because I didn't want to kind of like do the whole thing again so I literally just wet my hair again and this is the curl mix the red one and I, I don't think I'm using the red one yeah and I don't think I've ever talked about the red one but um, we do have it and and it was for what is the red one for um, repairing yeah exactly so since I'm on the repairing kick because I put Afoji in the other day and I forgot how good Afoji really gets my hair together and how it really kind of like mended it. I can feel the strength of my hair again and when I wet it I'm not getting pieces in my hand. I mean there's just no pieces. When I wash my hair there's just no pieces other than the average piece like, like here and there. Yeah. You know, like almost like less than average because like people say you, you lose like a hundred pieces of hairs a day or something. Not even like that. Like Afoji really got my hair back in order and not even the one that I always rave about, the one where you have to kind of like bake it into your hair, blow dry it, or sit under a dryer. No, I got the one that I talked about um, that we got a few years ago from um, New York Fashion Week, yeah. and I didn't kind of like trust it because I thought it was just too simplistic, but that's all I had on hand the other day. I wanted to go to Sally, Sally's? Sally. Sally. Sally, Sally Beauty. But I never got there, so my fear was that I didn't have the balancing moisturizer afterward because once you put that protein in your hair and bake it in your hair is hard as a rock and when you rinse it out your hair is really hard and you've got to bring back the pH or the moisture level or something but in the duo kit it comes with the Afoji and then it came with like a little pink moisturizer so I flipped it over and then I went online to see what the original one in a bottle has that I used to have and the ingredients were identical so I'm like I think this little pink thing here is the moisturizer that I'm supposed to use so um I'm saying all the same, but actually I did the whole kit together. I was thinking about, um, actually I had the little short one under my sink. I had like a little trial size of the original one that I kind of baked in, but I didn't have time for all that the other day. Yeah. So I did the one that was very simplistic. They say it lasts about maybe three weeks, whereas the original one might last six weeks. And then I went back to the year of 2017 on my calendar and realized that I was very consistent throughout that whole year, every six weeks. I saw it on my calendar, marked on my calendar. Every six weeks I did Afoji and I'm like, maybe that's why my hair was so strong and then going into like 2018, um, you saw how like, my hair really blossomed, how my hair really grew. I think at the end of 2017, that's when I finally cut my hair and then 2018, I think I big chopped again um, after the whole year of you guys kind of like watching my hair grow. So Yeah, because um, the, the 2018, um, what is it, the, the disappointing products videos, like our end of the year videos, your hair was super, super, super long. Yes, yes, yeah, so, look at that and video. Yeah, and we had the black on, yes. the funeral, yeah, and it was yeah. super, super long. And then by 20, the beginning of 2018, I big chopped, it seemed like it never grew 
with that kind of intensity and that kind of speed at all. And then it was just shedding all throughout 2019. 20, 2019. Okay, so now 2018. Awful, awful year for our hair yeah. in 2019. Yeah, 2018 I had the haircut and I was happy with it. Did I continue to cut it like kind of short throughout 2018? I don't know. But 2019 it just seemed like it just never grew and it was getting more and more damaged. Yeah. And then we just swore that we are going to like really care for our hair again. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it was even like all the wash and goes because we did wash and go. Yeah, I don't, know what it, I don't know what it was, but 2019 yeah. was just a bad year. So we said like no more, you know, chemicals, like no, like at least, at least for me, like I'm not highlighting my hair mm -hmm. in 2020. Um, I'm just trimming the ends, no haircuts in uh, 2020. I'm just going back to what I did uh, yeah. when we first went natural, which was nothing. Yeah, no, admittedly, <laughs> admittedly, like I went overboard. When I look back at some of the videos in 2017 and how in some of them I hear and the curls were just popping and just really dark and shiny and yeah, they look healthy. healthy and them my hair is just super 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 light in color and it looks extremely dry right. and I'm like it's just too many highlights highlights are supposed to complement mm -hmm. you know your hair not supposed to overtake it, your oh, head yeah if I mean if you want that look some people do like which we had it I don't know yeah, just, I don't know we've said it before on the channel like something about the last time we went and got yeah. our highlights on like both of us like things just started going south for whatever reason yeah and we've been highlighting our hair since for years mm -hmm. well over like at least like four or five years so and no I've been idea. thinking about making my job easier and just going to a salon and having them just color my hair it's original color but I'm like you know what no I'm thinking I'm gonna just do this kind of thing all healthy yeah. just cut out the highlights throughout the year Because that's been our problem yeah. we've been too hasty like, yeah. not, like you know like yeah. just let it why well, color my hair yeah. because my hair is only gonna turn orange again and mm -hmm. then I'm gonna have the whole problem all over again yeah so any hair color that I ever use even back in the day when I would always kind of like dye my hair um, light to medium brown or whatever the first month or so the hair looks really nice and then little by little starts fading into that kind of coppery category now I have a whole head of copper again mm -hmm. you know so now I'm just kind of like struggling with just a little actually not a little bit I mean it's overtaken my head but I do see the growth like the darkness this is like the real color of my hair and I'm seeing that now so I am just going to wait for it to continue to grow and then little by little cut it out um, the ends yeah. and pretty soon my whole head will be dark again like right. I want it to be so basically like for me like this whole month I've been alternating between I only wash my hair once a week which is on a Sunday so like every Sunday is my wash day I've been alternating between Nature's Little Secret wash and goes and Curl Mix wash and goes for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, with Nature's Little Secret, I'll just use their flaxseed gel because um, it's been like ra rainy kind of in Connecticut. So those weeks where I feel like or I see like it's gonna rain, I will do Nature's Little Secret because that just holds up better okay. with with rain. So the Nature's Little Secret, and then sometimes I'll add the Curl Junkie Pattern Pusher with it for like that extra hold, which I really love. That wash and goes kind of uh, like a mix it up. So you put them that, to get on top, or you mix them together in your no, hand. No, I put or? I put the Nature's Little Secret down first, the flaxseed gel, and then okay. I will put the Curl Junkie Pattern Pusher on top, and like okay. focus it on the areas that like kind of like go first, which are like my edges and like the very tips of my hair at the bottom will go. So like I'll run that through. And they're both glisten free gels, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's why yeah. they probably work good together. Good. And um, then uh, I'll I'll do Curl Mix, which is what's in my hair right now. This is like a day seven Curl Mix right now. The okay. the watermelon fragrance. Um, like the full line the um, shampoo conditioner went in with the avocado moisturizer and the gel so full shebang for okay. seven days which so yeah that's what I've been doing basically but um, we are out here today shopping for products so I'm like yeah. you know I want to I want to try like something new permission to really yeah. like, like, like what a fun day like to really go out and shop and for yeah. products like we can go into a store and we can buy products but see the thing is 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 like the witch hunt yes. for products so like the um the can two you want, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you're not going first. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, the sorry. <laughs> I didn't know I was talking to themselves and they're driving yet. Um, <laughs> The Cantu, their new avocado line. So it gave a whole list of where you can buy Cantu at, but like that doesn't tell me anything. Mm -hmm. Like it, I want like specific locations, which I think like for example, Sotanicals website does it. It will tell you it's in Rite Aid, which Rite Aid, what town, what oh, really? yeah, what exact Rite Aid it's in. Like it gives you that information. Interesting. But Cantu is like, oh, it's sold in Walmart and CVS and Target. But if I go to a Walmart and CVS and Target, it's not there. So like today right. is a little bit of the witch hunt. So yeah. our town is doesn't really sell like natural hair products like at all really uh -huh. barely um so we're going to a town that will a city mm -hmm. that will so yeah. that's where we're going today to be around some ethnic folk 
in and stores. Stuff, stores. Right. <laughs> where black people are at, where yeah. the Hispanic people are at, where there's like going to be some natural hair products where we're most likely maybe to find the products. I hope yeah. we find them. I hope it's easy. But that's I'm what I want. Of CDS on. Main Street, Main Street in, Bridgeport. in Bridgeport, and then there's a Rite Aid. So if you're from Connecticut, Bridgeport. Right. Um, we were even thinking Bridgeport, New Haven, Waterbury. Right. We've had luck. We found like Main Choice mm -hmm. in Waterbury one time. When their new lines come out, we've gone to a Walmart in Waterbury. Right. And we found um, the Main Choice. I know they're the Waterbury Sally Beauty right. has even, um, products. Either, even um, in New Haven, Walgreens, because I'm thinking about that because we're going to come across a Walgreens right now. Yes. We'll be passing it soon. Which and won't have that's, what we need. That, I wouldn't even bother getting out the car complete waste of my time. Yeah, that's waste. Because um, we're still in our town and there is no way in the world that they will have anything of the sort nope. in there. So I'm hoping we find it. That's the only thing, like, you guys know, like, the witch hunt, like, trying to yeah. go out and find the products. I'm like, I wish I could just buy it online because that that's what I would do. Buy the whole line mm -hmm. online and call it a day. I know but, Salon, the avocado line, though, reminded me a little bit of the cream of nature, the coconut milk line, because it had that leave-in in, in mm -hmm. the jar, and then it had the curling cream in the jar. Well, the original so. Cantu line has a leave-in and a coconut curling cream. So this oh. is now just, like, the avocado one that has a leave-in. And curling cream, so they they what do mean have the original, that. Um, like this is just the regular. Oh. Can, the, the first Cantu line has a curling cream. Okay. And a leave -in. not the not the leave-in like back in the day when our hair was relaxed. Remember that? Right? No, oh, not okay. that one. No, okay. it's it's a different one. Yeah. And then the Cantu um, curl activator in the avocado. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to try that because and they have um, a gel now. Because I use the I use the original white curl activator um, all the time. Right. That's what I really want. Yeah, so I want the leave-in and the curling cream to use together. But the curl activator I would use by itself because. Yeah. For us, the Cantu Curl Activators are one and done. Absolutely. So, um, yeah. yeah, there's that. And then I also want the, the Shea Moisture, that new, like, is it Avocado and Moringa? Is that what it is? It's green. Really? I think it's their Avocado Moringa line. It's, like, green. And I want that that treatment in that line. I really want that. Um, where did you see that at? Target? Uh, yes. Yeah, so I saw it on Target and Danbury, but we didn't buy it. But What kind of a treatment is it? Uh, I think it's I think it's some type of repairing treatment. I okay. Be I believe. And they already have. You said the shea moisture. Yes. Okay. Okay. You know yeah, they I mean? have that. They have that protein treatment. I think it's kind of along the lines of more of like a repairing. I don't know. Okay. Like, I'm not sure. Don't quote me, guys. I have to wait until I see it again. But I know I saw it and I picked it up and I sniffed it and I didn't buy it, but I wanted it. Okay. So I wasn't buying products that day. <laughs> but now we've given ourselves permission to buy products, right. so I need to. Yes, uh, we have to rebuild our stash so we yeah. can do some tutorials. We can do some videos, but mm -hmm. like we're still thinking like how we used to do like you know two videos a week in a live stream. Um, we do want to do tutorials, but I said like I don't want to go back to washing my hair every single day. So right. well, you don't even have the time anymore to no. really kind of do that. I mean, like on the weekends, I guess we could do it, but. Um, and which would be my wash and go for the week so hopefully it comes out right. good with whatever we use and like we want to yeah. do some new stuff so definitely comment down below some brands I asked you guys on Instagram on the macros Instagram what stuff do you want to see so I like referred back to that I saw a lot of um, Botanica you guys want to see she scented Adwa mm -hmm. and you guys keep mentioning the, the melanin the new leave-in conditioner so you guys oh, right. have already mentioned some things you want to see but I was like we need to get back to color coordination macros <laughs> old school tutorials like right. here Wait, and there. Right. Yeah. And then of course like some talk throughs. We have some talk through ideas that we want to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try to be better for the month of March because yeah. February we just kind of completely fell off for like personal life reasons. <laughs> first and um, wait till you guys see this show they actually have some really good stuff so we knew this was gonna be a great location yeah so, so let's flip the camera around so here is their aisle natural hair aisle um, I know it looks like they have some new additions to the whole series triple care braid cream braid cream look at the comes in a pump Okay, braid cream, curl awakening. This looks like a refresher spray and a hairspray split end treatment. The edge tamer. I don't remember an edge control. So here is Cantu, and 
They have a little bit of the new lines. So they have the shampoo, they have the activator, which is what we wanted. Right. And they have, what is this? The curling cream. Okay. I don't see the new gel. Yeah. Oh, they have a gel. They have a gel too. And they also had a leave in, remember? Yeah, so they don't have. So this is where the leave in would have been. Okay. They don't have the gel at all. So we're definitely going to pick up the activator. $7.79. Okay, can't do. I see you with the prices. Yeah. They're going up a little bit. Yeah, but not as high as those this morning with Amazon. Yeah, so this line was on Amazon, but everything was $15. Yeah. So. Um, moving on. Some Camille Rose. They're cleansing milks. Oh. Cleansing milk. Some more Camille Rose. Okay, so let me oh, what is that? Rapid Recovery Jesse Curl. Oh, oh, that used to be in the brown jar, remember? Oh, okay. What else did I spot over here? Oh, um, some As I Am. Is this the Jamaican Black? Yes, Jamaican Black Cast Oil Co Wash Moisture Mask. Extra virgin coconut oil. There's some allocate here. TGIM. Okay, Funkies. This is also what I wanted to try the Aunt Jackie's. So I might pick up the gel. Because I love, um, what's the other gel? The, this, the shrink one. The, the don't shrink gel. Okay, so here's the Shea Moisture Green. I wanted to try this. Okay guys, so I am like really intrigued by these milks. I'm definitely getting some. But like, all right, for instance, this one is for elongation, this one is for definition, and this one is to soften. All right, how do you, how does a cleansing milk, or cold wash, whatever you want to call it, make your long. hair long? So I'm thinking it's not even like a dry growth, right? growth, right? I don't think it has to do with growth, I said, because growth is growth, but elongation is meaning that that day you wash your hair with this, it's going to make your curls stretch more. Right. And so, and after this, then you put in a leave-in or whatever else. So anything else you can put in is going to manipulate, I think, the wash. Yeah. But I'm very curious. So anybody that has tried this, um, comment down below. Do they all yeah, um, distinguish? Mean? Do they really actually distinguish in that way? I just looked down. I've never seen this line. What's this? This just caught my eye. This is Crichton. Crichton is professional. The Curl Company. Moringa oil. So this is a leave-in, a curl cream, a curl lotion. Um, what is this? Is this a mask of some sort? I mean, this might be a. I don't know what this is. Oh, a mask. So a curl mask. This is a gel, a curl gel, and a, a cream gel. Interesting. I don't have any more of this left. I remember this. Oh, the, um, the Algae Renew. What do I always swear by now, though? I always say that. Um, I know, I use bleach. <laughs> well, you knew that. I, I, I need to go back to what I once knew, though. Yeah. The stuff that worked for me back when. It's 20 bucks. Oh, I know, but I'm just looking, girl. You know, are we not looking at prices? Are we checking prices? Girl, we're on a mission. Oh, we're just throwing stuff in the bag. We're throwing stuff in the thing. We're throwing it in. Yeah. All right. On a mission. We're going to keep, keep looking. Oh, please. <laughs> Has anyone ever seen these? These Eco. So this is Eco Body Shimmer. Some more Eco Body Spray. And this is Eco Gel Glitter. Unicorn. Look at the price. As compared to like their regular prices. This is another one. This is like a cream gel of some sort. Purple Majesty. Well, that's interesting. So I'm just standing here looking like I really can't get past these Cantu prices. This Cantu Define and Shine Custard in Target is like $5. Why is it $8.99 here? I'm really confused. I'm really confused unless like Cantu prices honestly just went up or what? Well, they're probably like, thinking like, you know, why not they doing the prices? $8.99? $8.59? Cantu has never been that high except for but besides the products in Ulta. So I'm, I'm a little... Yeah, I am mean, has their own coconut oil. I don't know how much this is yet, but... Probably like nine ninety nine. Yeah, this is probably a pulse shop because I yeah. have it at home. Well, I but have... I have um coconut oil at home. 
the As I Am, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil co-wash in the cart. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this, though, because I don't really co-wash my hair, but I wanted to I wanted to try their whole line, and so this is one of the products I wanted to try, and it's here. Oh, so cute. Yeah, I'm almost, I gave myself a budget today, so I, don't, I haven't met it yet with the product we have in here, okay. which will, like, show them everything we bought at the end. Of course. Each time. Okay, yeah. Okay. To the register, I think. Uh, we're not quite yet. We're still shopping. Okay, so we're at our next location. We are at Rite Aid. That was like a little bit down the street, so we are at the Rite Aid now. Um, I'm halfway through my budget for today. Oh, I can't zoom in? Oh, so I was gonna say, you <laughs> exceeded your budget. <laughs> I know, stuff's expensive. No, it is, it does start adding up. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, so. I know yeah. 10 here, 15 there. there. It doesn't seem like a lot to you just go mm -hmm. beep, but it's like the number like leaps, and then you go beep, but for the number leaps. Clause. It is for worthy clothes. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm so channel. excited to be shopping for products because we haven't I know. in so long, but then I'm also thinking like, do I want to order some stuff online? Girl, see. That's, that's a whole nother budget, yours. I right? Know. The end, like the, the online budget and like the in-store budget it has to be two different budgets here yeah but um yeah you gotta spend a little money to make a little money you know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> right, so, so yes yeah, so we're going to this ride aid this is a mm -hmm. good ride aid so let's see what they got um and what else we can find yeah all right let's go all right come on <laughs> and have um anything new really just a lot of the stuff that's just been around they have some sort of bowls, but barely you've yeah. got the last uh not soft. Yeah, 50% off. Oh, nice. $16.99. Yeah. Oh, you know what? No, it's not. I think they can't drink it. Oh, okay. I just ordered it from Mom's Botanicals. Okay. Yeah, so. I'm still going to just play So there's Uncle Funky's. There's Cantu, but nothing new wine. The olive oil. As I am, but no like Jamaican Black Castor white wine. Carol's daughter, but nothing new. Um, there was also this wild line, which I may pick up. I've been wanting to try this, so I might do that. Uh, yeah. That's what's going on here. Now we're heading into a beauty supply store to see what they have in there. So this beauty supply store is not disappointing us. Um, mm -hmm. I found the rest of the Cantu lines that I was looking for. Um, they have two aisles of just like natural hair products. Mm -hmm. A lot of them though are behind, like a like a thing like that. Yeah. So um, yeah. Can you see anything? No. Yeah. Here's ORS. ORS. I think I had this. Oh, and the deep conditioner here. Okay. I had a packet of it. This is the. Just the basically. coconut and bale bag. Yes, it's ORS, and this is the um, shampoo. Oh, they have shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. Okay. We'll show you some of the shelves. Hold on. Here's. I've been thinking about this. They said formerly the Curl Smoothie, though. I've never. I don't know the, the Curl, Curl smoothie, smoothie, but this is the Curl's Unleashed. It's um, what is it? Avocado and coconut. It smells mm -hmm. really good. No, we didn't have the smoothie, right? We had this one. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a leave -in. And then they have. Hold on, I'm gonna step in front of you really quick. Did you they have the As I Am, the Mayo, Locked Behind the Thing, Diva, Locked Up, Main Choice. Hair affinity, all the shade moisture behind the, the glass, Camille Rose behind the glass. So. All these types of things. We'll show you guys the other side where the uh, Cantu Cream of Nature stuff is. There's Cream of Nature over here. All the Cream of Nature. Coconut milk wine, which is our favorite. They have a lot of cream in nature here. It's awesome. African Pride. And then all the, the Cantu, including the new goodie. So we bought the whole line of the Cantu avocado, just not the shampoo and conditioner. I'm not really pressed for that. But um, I'm really looking forward to using the new avocado line. Cannot wait for that. A Jamaican black castor oil. This is the sunny aisle, tropical aisle, and then like the different um, ones here. I think I'm definitely gonna pick up some Jamaican black castor oil so I can get back to my hot oil treatments with Jamaican black castor oil. I think my hair definitely needs that. It's been a little dry. <laughs> okay, so we decided that we were going to get pizza at our favorite pizza place. So. Pieology, which is in Stamford, <laughs> and it's so good. It's like a um, 
a build your own pizza kind of thing. We showed it in our vlogs before, right? Um, I, yes, I think in one other we, vlog. Okay, I know we talked about it. Yeah. It. Okay. So we're gonna go do that and um, basically have a Mad Curls business dinner. <laughs> yes, it takes a lot of talking and planning now. Yeah. All right. Okay. We'll see you guys in sun. All right. All Go back and see that that live, not that, right. that live, the uh, that vlog. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is cleaning supplies. I'm definitely not interested in that. But I love Target clothes. I have no I self control. I know, I know, I know. So we need to go check out their stuff. <gasps> Look, so they have new stuff. Oh my gosh, and like the spring stuff is gonna start coming out. So um, let's dive in. Okay. So we have just spent probably at least an hour or more in the clothing section, which is like near the door. So we haven't even we barely gotten like anywhere in Target. Jewelry. And um, I've disrobed and now, so I took off my denim shirt. It's getting hot up in here. <laughs> <laughs> the serious business here. Target is trying it. Their mm -hmm. earring prices, it was like $19.99 for three little studs. Are they out of their oh, crazy? Yeah. Look. Hey, look. A pack yeah. of, let me see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Uh, uh, mm. So, like, a pack of like six is $14.99 even though it's already. back to Claire's um well back speak to, for uh, thyself back to right. forever 21. Oh, but look at guys look at this the bigger go bigger go home like I love these yeah Lorianne's with the big hoops right now I was like do it do yes. it so um they're bigger than the ones I have in now super cute you can totally rock it I love like mm -hmm. a short haircut mm -hmm. with big hoops Hoops like can change anything. You could be like look, looking completely raggedy. You throw some hoops in, and now it's a look. Really? Comment down below if that's true. Hoops <laughs> like make a look. Yeah, I love hoops. They I can love, really love like big hoops. They like, can change the game. I love huge, big hoops, big hoops. So, All right, so we need to head over to the hair section and okay. the uh, makeup section because we still have to, I think, film a little something when we get home. Yeah. So I yes, know. we need to get a move on. Okay, guys. All right, guys. So here is the natural hair aisle. It's definitely smaller than it used to be. It used to take up like a whole wall, like it was huge. Um, this is all, the, let me just tell y'all now, we will not be reviewing the Tarashi B. Henson line, even though I absolutely love her. The products are, too perfumey. are way too perfumey. Like, oh my gosh, like the gel, the gel, oh my gosh. Oh, I don't like, yeah, it's just perfume. Like, is it, is it like man cologne? Like, is it manly? Oh, I don't, very, it's very, very strong. Laid up with my yeah, no, it's it's really, really, really strong, and like this, it's too much going on. I'm highly confused. So this is cleansing care, scalp care, repair care, treatment and stylers, but they all smell pretty strong. Like I'm not on on the wave at all for any of this. So sorry, guys. We won't be doing that. Yeah. You know, Shea Moisture, same old, same old. Their their collection is not impressive here really at all. There's nothing new, honestly. Yeah. Guys, are you guys interested in Emerge? What's Emerge? Where'd it come from? It's definitely kind of like up my alley with like the prices. Mm -hmm. There's a leave-in, shampoo, conditioner. I think there's, this is a, a mask, a, a buttercream, a styler, some gel. Oh, <laughs> Dove's on the way? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dove. Amplified textures, no way. Shampoo, conditioner, leave-in, shaping buttercream for curl it coils and curls, finishing gel, recovery mask. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, let's take a closer look. Let's look at the shaping butter. Gal, come here. Oh. Oh, it kind of smells good. The Dove Shaping Butter. This is a styler. Butter cream for coils and curls. Where are the prices? Oh, they're like six bucks. Okay. 
<laughs> you said it's right. <laughs> she hasn't moved. She said it's right at my alley. The six dollar price. Wait. Finishing gel. Oh, that smells good. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to try it. I like Dove. Oh, this is ghetto. Look at that. Someone touched it. Girl, someone touched it. Yes, all those are Taraji piece on. The leave-in. Oh my gosh, this is so, I didn't know Dove made a lot. See, everybody's jumping on the natural hair wave. Okay, I'm gonna think about that. I'm gonna think about it whether I want to buy that because I just bought the entire swab for naturals and the Cantu line. I don't need to buy a whole nother line. That's yeah, the Taraji P is it's too much. Okay, in the Emerge, let us know about Emerge. Let us know about Dove if you're interested. We just sniff Emerge really quick. The Emerge mask. Okay, that smells kind of like baby powder a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Smell the buttercream. People need to stop touching the product. It's one thing to sniff. It's another thing to stick your fingers in it. Especially with all these sicknesses and stuff going around. You can't be touching folks' stuff. It's not cool. Yeah, it's almost like licking the ice cream. Exactly. I'm not buying that if someone touched it. Okay. So Lorian is down there with Carol's Packaging. daughter. Checking out all the new packaging. Look, I love this. Look at guys. The pumps. So I love the pumps. And I'm so detailed. Like, this pump is cute. And this pump must be the old pump. You know... See the difference? I'd get it strictly for the pump. So cute. I'm checking out the main choice, the proceed with caution. Y'all interested in that? It's here. They have the shampoo conditioner. Uh, and then the, the gel, which is really obnoxiously big. <laughs> it's kind of a little it's big. And then what's this? The luster shine illuminator. They don't. They don't. They don't have the new Cantu either. But they don't have, they don't have the new Cantu either. Yeah, no, this is a sad location. Okay. Yeah, this is a sad location. There's nothing new and exciting. It used to be a happy location. <laughs> it did. It used to be like yeah. like the whole wall had tons yeah. of stuff. But it still um, looks like a whole wall, but it looks kind of no, girl. It's like a half a wall. Okay, they shrunk it. This starts with all the L'Oreal. Yeah, they shrunk it. Okay. So, all right, guys. So we're still here, shop here shopping. <laughs> Lorian's trying on a fur coat right now. <laughs> oh, wait. A it's red. Such like, it's such a cute fleece. color. But it's like so out of season now, right? Because we're like going into spring. We're going into spring. I have to think ahead for I'm next I'm surprised winter. it's not on sale though. I know. Target. I know. Target must be They want $40 for. for this thing. Are they out of their mind? It's, oh, oh, it's Champion. $39. Oh, girl, bye. That's what. But it's so cute. Yeah. No. If it was on sale, maybe. But girl, I'm telling you, no. But she just listen yeah. to it. Nice fuck. When I speak. No, I'm listening this time now because I'm like, what can I do with it now? It's like too hot for all this. Well, it's technically, it's going into spring, but mm -hmm. it's still cold. Like today it was like 30 degrees. It's freezing. It and the wind was blowing. Yeah. But yeah, so we are closing this vlog out now. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Yeah. Again, comment down below some uh, products and lines you guys want to see us review because we're back. Coming at you <laughs> with mad curls, tutorials, and <laughs> all that jazz. But, um, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. All and... Right. See you in our next vlog. See you in our next vlog. Video. Your video. Your video. Right. Oh my gosh, we don't even know our ending anymore. I know, right? Girl, so, so shameful. Thank you guys so much for watching and right. see you in our next. We'll see you in our next video. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>